it's funny in my life and especially as a climber I've always looked for experiences um, it's not about success it's about the experience which can be successful or a total disaster this is an experience creative climbing new climbing you know, I'm not going to travel to the Himalaya Patagonia or China or somewhere like that and just do routes that other people have done when I can actually create the new routes myself because I'm, I'm curious like that you know, I think it's the curiosity thing that is the most important in 1984 in Switzerland. I maybe fell maybe 12 or 15 meters. My heart was actually exploded out. The hips, the elbow were operated on. I remember the doctor saying, well, you won't climb again. And I'm going, yes, I, I will, I will be back. You don't know me. You know, the year before I was climbing on K2 Broad Peak. I was climbing hard ice routes, rock routes, solos. And then afterwards, you're no longer a climber. But then I lost it. Who am I? What, what am I worth in life? What can I produce? After that, I realized that all I want is the feeling of being able to do something again. In Chamonix, I went uh, painting in the mountains, but with crutches. I think I was a little bit depressive. And people said that about the paintings I did at the time. They were kind of dark, I suppose. But I suppose eventually I worked that out my system by just becoming more active again. So I'm still keeping the same level of adventure, given that I've got physical problems as well. So everything's more dangerous. By then I was ready for this big adventure, I think. Ten years after the accident, am I really that good? Can I climb like that? And I did. I climbed better than ever. People like me have got a death wish. It's not that. We like life as well. But it, in fact, you, I could say I love life so much that I do enjoy risking it because it makes it even better. I want my art to have a style, and I think it's still not developed fully. You spend all your life getting to a point to start becoming good. Like I call it an experience. That creative thing makes me move on looking for these things. It's something to express. So I'd sacrifice technique for expression any day. Because it's not perfection I want. It's an energy, a power. I call it a magic in a way. Maybe I've always lived a lifestyle like that, where there's, in a way, like when, when we were young, we always used to believe in the thing, no future. We decided we weren't going to live old. in 1989, just at the beginning when the climate was changing. And that began me sculpting. This friendship with this building goes back a long way and has it changed my life? It brought me away from just climbing and just painting and into working in three-dimensional objects as a sculptor. 2016. There was a fire in the night, and everything burnt. I always used to say to myself that if I lose this place, I leave Chamonix. Of one's motivation, the incentive force is to carry on, and not to get disillusioned, not to become sad, but just to go. 
we stay motivated. Struggling now, struggling next year, and eventually moving back in. To me, there's no option. I've got to do it that way. It's the only way that's interesting. I like the experience of it all. I like being involved in something and I want to feel changed a little bit by it. I'm happy to have lived through the period of life that I've lived through. <laughs>